Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. How would he or she react if you contacted him or her? This reading is timeless, and for this reading, I'm using four different decks. There are four piles to choose from. This is pile one, this is pile two, this is pile three, this is pile four. Think of your person and make your selection. If you chose pile one, here is your reading. Five of Cups. Five of Swords. The Empress. Ten of Spears. That's Ten of Wands. Priestess. Three of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. needs a good hard shuffle. I can already tell you, I would not recommend reaching out to this person at this time. Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups. I feel like you have invested a lot more heavily in this connection than your person of interest has. I feel like there's a very strong possibility they could have you blocked on social media. It could be that you don't really have a way to contact this person at this time. I'm seeing miscommunication. I'm seeing misunderstandings. I'm seeing conflict. I'm seeing drama, possible third party. But I get a very strong feeling that if you chose pile one, this is a really good time for you to go deep, check in with your intuition, your inner high priestess, your inner empress, regardless of your gender <clears throat> or sexual preference. We all have both energies inside us. We have the divine masculine and the divine feminine. If you chose pile one, this is an excellent time to consult your inner high priestess and your inner empress. Ask yourself the hard questions. 
are you really being served by staying in this connection? Is this to your highest good? I don't think that it is, according to these cards. Holding on to this person, uh, putting this person on the pedestal, seeing this person through rose-colored glasses, waiting for this person to invest as much in this connection as you have. It's like I say a lot, I feel like you're spinning your wheels in the mud. Eight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. If this is your situation, if this resonates with you, I feel like you have this person on a pedestal. You can see yourself marrying this person. This person is your ideal partner. Um, Nine of Wands, I feel like you've known this person for a while. Five of Wands, but all these fives, that is quite significant. To start with Five of Cups, the card of unrequited love. Five of Swords, trouble and communication. Five of Wands, drama, conflict. This is not coming together. Right now, the energy between you and this person, it's not favorable. Um, if you were to reach out, if you were to contact this person somehow, direct message, text, phone call, whatever, I feel like your communication would be ignored. I don't feel like they would respond. Um, if this is not third party, if this person is not in a relationship with someone else, they simply are not interested at this time in pursuing a romantic sexual relationship with you. So this reads as masochism to me. Um, it doesn't look healthy. It doesn't look like it's rooted in reality. I see a lot of dreaming, fantasizing, projection. So it's either your story or it isn't. It's not going to resonate with everyone. This is a general reading for a vast unseen collective. If it is your story, I would say let this go, try to detach from this, but do not contact this person at this time. You could have strong Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. Um, usually you're very grounded, you're very sensible, you're very logical. In most areas of your life, you're very in touch with reality. But when it comes to this connection, I see your head being in the clouds. I feel like you're lacking balance regarding this connection. Um... You're drowning in the moon. You're drowning in your feelings. Communication is terrible. Um, you may feel that you and this person are an energetic match. Maybe you have really good moon synastry. But right now, according to these cards, this person is not feeling that energy. And they would not respond if you were to initiate contact. I'm hearing be still, be still, breathe in, breathe out, take care of yourself, protect your sacred space. Maybe you see some initials. 
bow constrictor. I'm seeing restriction. I'm seeing you be swallowed by this very dense energy. I'm seeing obsessive thinking and masochism. So that is what I have for pile one. If that resonates, please let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile two, the hermit. Knight of Cups. Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. Okay, I'm already getting a similar energy, a similar vibe as Pile 1. Before I even shuffle the other decks, I'll tell you, I feel like this is what you're hoping for. You're hoping for romantic communication from your person of interest, or you feel compelled to send them romantic communication. Um but I'm seeing obsessive thinking. I'm seeing fear-based thinking. I see you running around in circles in your mind trying to make sense of this, trying to figure out this really intense connection. Uh, but for this to start with the hermit, I would say it is not a good idea at this time to initiate communication with your person of interest. They would not be receptive to communication. Justice. Five of Cups. Five of Swords. The Tower. No, this is not a good time. You're wanting a big, dramatic change in your life. I feel like you're at a stalemate with this person and you're wanting something intense with this person. You're wanting intense involvement. You want to snap your fingers and manifest something deeply gratifying, but I don't see that coming together in the foreseeable future. So, if this resonates with you at all, I would strongly suggest, same as Pile 1, that you don't contact this person at this time. What I'm seeing is that if you did contact this person, they would not respond. If they did respond, I feel like it would be really harsh and it would hurt you but it would not be pleasant, it would not be romantic. Ace of Pentacles. You don't have this in your life right now. You don't have balance. You're not feeling good about yourself. It's like I say a lot with my clients in private readings, I do minimal six card spreads, usually depending on 
the nature of the reading, but usually minimal six card spreads per question. And this is something that I've just discovered on my own. I didn't learn this in any book or from any other reader, but I see major arcana as blocks of energy. I do not like seeing major arcana in a six card spread. And I really don't like seeing major arcana in the first row, regardless of how big the spread is. Ace of Wands. It could be that you've been through cycles with this person and you're wanting a new cycle, a fresh cycle. Um, you feel this really strong sexual attraction. Earth next to fire, that's very lusty. I'm seeing Capricorn and Aries, very lusty, very sexual. But Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Five of Cups, the card of unrequited love. I feel like you're wanting to start things up a lot more than your person of interest is. I feel like right now they're not interested. Four of Pentacles, but you're holding on. I'm seeing an unhealthy attachment. Two of Cups, this is what you're wanting. This is what most of us want. Unless you're just really burned out on love and you're just really beat up and damaged from toxic relationships, most of us crave, regardless of how old we are, most of us crave the Two of Cups. Something deeply gratifying with someone who understands us, someone who adores us, someone we have mutuality with. You're craving that with this person, you're obsessively thinking about it, but I don't see it coming together anytime soon. Certainly not if you initiate contact. I feel like they would reject you. Five of Cups, again, unrequited love. You're all in, you're emotionally invested, and this person is not involved in this energetically or emotionally at this time. Seven of Pentacles, you're wanting to manifest Two of Cups with this person. Six of Cups. You feel like this person is your person. You feel like they're a soulmate or a twin flame. You feel spiritually attached, spiritually connected. But it's like I told a client recently, King of Wands, just because we feel this intense connection does not mean it's reciprocated. I'm not seeing mutuality here. Um... So there could be an age gap. I feel like you have a complicated astral combo. I don't feel like you have a concentration in one element. So one example of many, you could have Sun and Pisces, Capricorn rising and Aries moon. I feel like you have a lot of water and fire in your natal chart. Your person may have more earth. I'm seeing Virgo with the hermit. They could have more earth and air. I feel like your person is cold to your hot. I feel like they're very aloof. They're very reserved. Uh, probably an introvert. And bottom line, right now, according to these cards, they are not interested in pursuing a romantic sexual relationship with you. So if you contacted them, I feel like they would either not respond or they would respond 
in a very harsh way. They would reject you. Yeah. Painful communication. Five is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Two twos. Two is Cancer, the moon. It's like I said for pile one, maybe you have good moon synergy with this person, but right now they are not interested in being in this exchange with you. They don't want a relationship at this time. Three is Jupiter, Sagittarius. I feel like regardless, you're going to remain optimistic. You're going to be patient. You're going to wait for this to manifest. And if that's the case, all I can tell you is work on yourself. Focus on your energy and your spiritual path. And don't be in your feelings because I don't see how that's going to serve you, focusing on this person. Jen, I'm hearing Misery and Jen by Merle Haggard. Big, you've got big feelings for this person. You wanna give this person a ring. You wanna call this person. You want this person to give you a ring, maybe. You want this person to bring you their heart on a silver platter and I don't see that happening anytime soon. Okay. Well, that was too less than exciting <laughs> piles in a row. But I'm here to give an honest interpretation of the cards, and that's it. If it's entertaining occasionally, bueno, but... Basically, I am here to give an honest interpretation of the cards. So that's what I have for pile two. If that resonates, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile three, the magician. The Judgment, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, wow, okay, um, I'm just trying to, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to say something different because all three piles so far have been rather dense, heavy, dark. I'm feeling this dark, heavy, dense energy. Um, It's like I said for pile two, I see major arcana as blocks of energy. I'm seeing all these blocks. The Magician, Gemini, the Judgment, Sagittarius, King of Cups, and Ten of Swords, a very clear, a very obvious, a very painful ending. If you chose pile three, I don't feel like you've been in contact with this person for quite some time months, years in some cases. You're still holding on. Um, 
you use superlatives when it comes to this person. You see this person as perhaps the best lover of your life. Maybe you felt the deepest love for this person. Before I say any more, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep shuffling, but I get a sinking feeling looking at these cards. You're wanting to manifest clarity or closure. You feel like you don't have any clarity, closure in some cases with this person. Two of Cups. You feel like this is your person. You've never loved this hard, this long, this deep chariot but we have all these blocks four of cups I feel like right now your person is not happy they aren't balanced they aren't feeling gratitude they aren't feeling fulfilled knight of wands There is passion here. Strong sexual attraction. Well, oops, lo siento. I'm seeing distance, not just physical, geographical distance, but psychic distance, emotional distance. I don't feel like you've exchanged energy in quite some time. Page of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay, this is looking a little bit different from the first two piles now. Please clarify in these four cards, how would the person respond if the person who chose pile three were to reach out? Call, text, send a direct message. How would this person respond to that communication? Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Two of Swords. I feel like this person would be apologetic. Uh, they would be kind. They would be warm. They would not be cold. But they would tell you They can't be in this right now. Um, they're always going to have love for you. They're always going to be grateful for the memories the two of you created. You were as important to this person as they are to you. Um, but you're holding on wanting to manifest a relationship in the 3D. You're wanting intense involvement with this person and they can't give you that right now. Um, they would not be cold. They would not be harsh. This would not be a flat out rejection 
but it would be a rejection. I feel like they would tell you at this time they can't be involved in a relationship with you. Um, and they're not in the head space or the heart space at this time for something ongoing, even if it's just contact, even if it's just keeping in touch with direct messages on social media. They're not going to engage in that. They're not going to engage in consistent communication. So, there is deep love here. But I feel like you had your time with this person. It's not to say you can't be with this person again in the future. It's not to say you can't have this blissful reunion. But for the purpose of this reading, you know, it's a general reading. It's not, it's not a personal private reading. I can only tell you so much. But according to these cards, I would say that. If you were to initiate contact in the next few weeks, this person would not be open to getting involved in a romantic sexual relationship with you. They would be kind, they would be courteous, but they would tell you that they can't really get involved now at this time. And I feel like if you chose pile three, it's very likely there's been a pattern of you being the one to initiate communication. You were all in, you knew you wanted this person. You saw this person as your person, but they have put you off and they've kept you at arm's length um, for quite some time. Maybe you had something very short lived. Maybe you had a very brief exchange. Um, it's, it's more complicated with pile three than it was with the other two piles, because I do feel like they regard you as someone significant, but I'm also getting a very strong sense that this is simply not the right time. They're not going to be able to give you much of anything. <clears throat> so. They could feel like you had your time and your time passed. And again, they'll always regard you fondly. They'll always be grateful for the memories. But I'm not seeing anything new starting. I'm not seeing a new cycle starting up with this person in the foreseeable future. I feel like you're very optimistic regarding this connection. We have two threes, Jupiter Sagittarius, three and three is six, Venus. Um, but there may also be a lot of over-romanticizing and projection, projecting, projection with seven, Neptune, Pisces. Two, Cancer, the moon, you're all in your feelings regarding this person. Five, I'm seeing really mediocre or terrible communication. Five is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. seeing words that I don't want to see. You feel like you're a pawn in this chess game and this person is the queen. This person has all the power.
You feel like your heart is stuck all over with these tiny pins. It hurts. I'm hearing Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show. You feel raw when it comes to this person. You're very sensitive when it comes to this connection. So, if that resonates, please let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Which is gracias. And if you chose pile four, oh, the horned one, Carnunos, Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail, Three of Shields, that's Three of Pentacles, the Homespun Tunic, Seven of Spears, Seven of Wands, Arch of Twelve Kings, iPhone check, are we still rowing? Yes. Okay. I get a dangerous feeling. I almost get butterflies in my stomach looking at this pile. Finally, a pile where it may not be the worst idea in the world to contact this person. This could be thrilling. This could be a carnival ride. This could be a roller coaster. You don't know where you stand with this person. That's part of the appeal. There's danger. Um, but with this, I'm getting a sense of mutuality. I'm getting a sense of spiritual kinship. I'm getting a sense of really strong sexual attraction. I feel like you're just getting to know each other. This is new energy. And this actually looks promising. I usually see major arcana as blocks of energy, especially as the first card, especially in the first row. But looking at this progression, the sequence, I'm not really seeing a block of energy, I'm seeing Two people who are just getting to know each other and you both sense this could be something really significant. So it's kind of scary. Sun, King of Swords, Five of Wands, the Emperor. I'm seeing arrogance. I'm seeing someone who is closed off. This person is not naturally, easily receptive to emotional intimacy. Certainly in the beginning, this is someone who's going to test you and challenge you. Uh, they're not going to just gush all over you. This person is not a romantic. They're very cool, rational, logical, cerebral, highly intelligent. They can be very sarcastic, very cutting with their words. Um, this is someone who, in the beginning, when you're just getting to know them, they're not going to use terms of endearment. Some people use terms of endearment very, very easily. Everyone is hun or honey or babe, baby, sweetheart. Um, 
this person doesn't really talk like that. They don't use many terms of endearment. They're not that warm. Um, they're not even that flirtatious. They're very careful who they interact with. I'm seeing a snob. This person is a snob. They're just very conservative with their energy. Um, they're arrogant is what I'm picking up. So I personally, if I was interested in someone like this, as a rule, pretty much throughout my life, very rarely have I been the one to initiate communication. Um, you know, say I met a guy on OkCupid, like my Gemini ex from 2016. We actually met at OkCupid. And I think I did send him a flirtatious message telling him he looked like my favorite porn star, Evan Stone. He looked like Evan Stone in the profile picture. But then the ball was absolutely in his court and he pursued the relationship fast and furious with the text messages. And we had a date within the week. We met in person within the week. Um, but someone that has this King of Swords and Emperor energy, so say for example, this person could have Sun and Gemini, Moon and Aries, a very masculine energy. Um, I would want this person to pursue the relationship. I would want this person to initiate contact. When I do private readings for clients, I do minimal six card spread, six cards per question. Whenever the emperor comes out, I use that as kind of a warning or a red flag. I don't get too deep into the twin flame stuff, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, all that. It's been overdone. I see the emperor as a warning sign that this person has a very strong personality, very masculine. They have to be the one to pursue the relationship, bottom line. Wheel of Fortune, extremely masculine. All this fire, the sun, Leo, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Five of Wands, the Emperor, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, so that is promising to have the Ace of Cups, King of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles. So there could be mutuality, a mutual attraction. Uh, you could have strong Earth. I'm seeing Capricorn, obviously the devil, but uh, you could have strong Earth in your natal chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. I feel like you and this person do have things in common. You have shared values, shared interest. So it's not just a sexual attraction, Ten of Cups. You could potentially manifest marriage with this person. That is the wife card, Three of Cups. But you want to have fun with this, pace yourself. Don't go into this thinking, I'm going to have Ten of Cups. This is my person. I'm going to have this person for the rest of my life. Don't go into this thinking Ace of Cups. Don't go in thinking, oh, this is my long-awaited soulmate or twin flame. Don't get stuck in all of that. Just see it for what it is. This is someone who is exciting. There's a strong sexual attraction. There is potential for emotional chemistry. But just be smart and try to be conservative with your energy. Don't just give this person your heart on a silver platter. They have to earn it. They have to work for it. Okay. How would this person respond if the person who chose pile four were to send a text message or a direct message? How would they respond? to communication. Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Knight of Cups. I'm seeing distance and this person definitely has a lot going on. 
I'm not really getting player vibes. I feel like they're beyond the games. I'm seeing maturity here. Uh, I'm seeing possibly a single parent. They've been married and divorced at least once. But they don't play. They don't play when it comes to romantic sexual relationships. They take their relationships very seriously. They don't just jump in. Um, it takes some time to gain this person's trust. And it's quite the challenge to earn this person's respect. They have really high standards. So, the good news is, well, what I saw in this first row, you know, it started off really strong and then Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, and it ends on Knight of Cups under Three of Cups. So there could be something here. There's definitely potential. But if this resonates, if this is your story, if this sounds like your person, I would suggest that you don't initiate contact. I would let them be the one to get this going. I would say the ball is in this person's court. Um, there's potential here, but I get a very strong sense with this person that if you were to just start blowing up their phone or if you were all over their social media, that would turn them off. They like a challenge to sum it up. They probably have strong Aries in their natal chart. They probably have a Mars that makes a lot of aspect and you can carve it in stone. Uh, if someone has Aries strong in their natal chart, and or a Mars that makes a lot of aspects. They want the challenge. They want the chase. If it's easy, they don't want it. Easy turns them off quicker than anything. Yeah, you have to be strategic with your communication. Could be an energetic match that's pretty strong. Two fives, two ones. One is Leo, five is Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. And we have two sixes, Venus. Very strong. Real. This could be something real. Christian Bell, uh, Batman. My son is in Batman mode lately. I got him a Batman costume at Spirit. Christian Bell. Um. <laughs> Inside joke. Capricorn. Um, let's see. Lab. Maybe this person is a scientist. I doubt it. I don't think this person's a scientist, but I mean, they could be. It's a possibility. Um, belt. Tool belt, spanking, um, learn. I feel like this person is educated. I feel like they like to read. They have intellectual curiosity. They can be a brat. Spoiled because very good looking, very charming. This person is very competent, very high functioning in the 3D. Perhaps they were born in the year of the rat. Art, they appreciate art. They are an art fan. Maybe they're an artist as well. 
But I'll tell you, this is the most energy I've gotten from this reading. This is the most energetic pile by far. Lots of good stuff here, but I feel compelled to tell you, um, you got to be strategic. You got to be smart. Ten. Bat. Oh my God, Christian Bell and Bat. I have to tell my son. Did I say table already? The cards are on the table. Yeah. Good stuff. Just be smart. Be strategic. You can initiate contact if you want. If you do, just keep it light. Be flirtatious. Don't be too serious. Too intense. This person likes to be challenged. So that's what I have for pile four. If that resonates, please let me know. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.